override, beastie eyes, sportsy. Yeah, yeah don't say, sportsy. This realm represents any Freddy's locations that were built in the late 80s, I believe. So, plastic robots could be lurking around anywhere, and you know as well as I do that just one's bite. Right behind you, old. I don't think any location had a fully intact Funtime Faxi model, aside from the Fax Bugger. Oh, right, let me explain. Don't tell anyone, but I may have gone a little mad at one point. Built an underground bugger, filled with clown themed hyper advanced robots built to abduct kids. Good times. Oh, good lord, this thing, they had to stop shipping these things to the Freddy's locations. Why on earth you'd want a plastic robot that can tell kids about their orphans and rattles is beyond me. All it takes is for this thing to correctly predict when one custom is gonna, and you have a murder lawsuit on your hand. Ah, your typical Freddy's poor release button. You'd be surprised just how useful a metal blast door is one you've gotta derange, and by extension, your frontal load.
Looks like it. Sportsy. How strange. I've never seen anything like that here before. I wonder if it's possible to go too far down and find yourself dragged. Worry not, Sportful. I happen to vaguely recall us seeing a door release button in one of the rooms that we passed. I'm sure the closed blaster and the button are hooked up to one another. We press the button, up that fucker comes. Come on, Sportsy. Time to press a motherfucking button. Clank. That ought to do it, alright? Come on, I've just realized the perfect place to check. If my suspicions about this ethereal location are correct, this place should have a prize corner. If any room in this place is unimaginably and horrifyingly haunted, it will be at one. Oh, please, that's where Matt worked. Even the spirit world respects how creepy the fucking virgin was. Come on, sportsy, now ghost ain't gonna bust itself.
Well, here we are, sportsy. The prize corner. Look at that counter, in all of its horrifying court. Give it a second. Maybe something will pop into existence if we s Well, there we have it, old sport. Something. Wait, hold on a second, Sportsy, why are you calling I think D? Isn't that a human name for girls? Why on earth are you calling it that? In the flash, or whatever the scaly high cover in my body is made out of.
give it to ya, puppet face. You sure don't go down easy. Wait, should I have known that? Wait, hang on a second. You're the girl. The one Henry took away from. I... I was never okay with what Henry did, I swear. I tried to talk him out of it. What? What do you... Sportsy? How did you know what that thing's name was? Oh, oh, no, I, I had no. What, I? What, Henry told me. I was doing you a favor. I do remember my own childhood, if you could call it that. I'm sorry to hear that. I take it Jack is Sportsy's true name. Hey, don't worry, sis. I know how you feel. I never had... Well, from a young age, I was cast out of a time cell nobody really wants to adopt an obishy kid. New York City in the 1950s. Good luck if you were homeless. You'd be lucky to get a nickel most days. People find goodwill and charity tedious. So, I learned how to play the trombone. I formed the bread. Drank rain water. Slept wherever it wasn't what. I survived, didn't I? Well, I ran away from home. Went trolled. Traveled for a while through upstate New York. Drank rain water in Utica. Steamed hams and then, near the border, I saw something different. Some Dr. Miller's fantastical circuits, where fantasy is made real, and life has meaning. A local traveling circus, starting by on its way to Vegas. I snuck in, not having a ticket, and my god, quite the place, let me tell you. Hot dogs, clowns, lions, excitement, and in the center of it all, stood the ringmaster, a stout fella, pink complexion, in a pink striped outfit with his signature hat and bow tie. He was Dr. Henry Miller. I was standing in his circus. He thanked everyone for coming down and welcomed us to his show. Promised to show us earth shattering illusions. He guaranteed to prove that the impossible was possible or your money back. Granted, I snuck in, but I was intrigued by the claimant to less. And boy, did he make the impossible possible. Cannons fired on instinct, as if they were sentient. Trapeze artists levitated from bar to bar. Every damn act shattered at least one thing that I thought I knew about reality. The circus itself traveled west, and then south, hitting several stops in the Midwest. I followed the circus around, getting a good view of the show most nights, and every single show was incredible. Henry even had a clown persona that he'd done occasionally, 
got on really well with kids. That guy knew how to act. Well, it never quite reached Vegas. Unfortunately, people tended to turn up missing in town as the circus reached. Bad luck, I guess. The police called it off and arrested the lion tamer since the disappearances were investigated as murders. I heard that guy got put to death. Search him right, ruining Henry's circus. Filthy drunk. Oh, trust me. Henry testified in court. Saw him do it. Henry was a good man and a big dreamer. Even after that, he never quite let go of his dream of bringing fantasy to life. He decided to put his doctorate in robotics to use and started up his own restaurant. Fred Bear's family diner. All he needed was a hand to help perform on stage, manage customers, invest a little money into his dream. I was a young man at this point and had saved a little bit of money up, so I just knew it. Henry's dream would change my life forever. I gave him all of the money I had and told him that he cared about me, D. Gave me my own character, let me help him write jokes for his shows. He gave me meaning. He was the first person that taught me how to dream. What? It's okay. I know Henry did bad thing, he meant well, and wanted to be a good me and sports you want to write Henry's wrongs, and fix every we can still have a happy ending. See, I'm useful. What is it, old sport? What do you mean, sportsy? My god, that's incredibly concerning. D, that ain't me. That's the part of my soul that can't let go. Couldn't even let go of my own dead body. Sportsy, I'm gonna keep an eye out for what my reality incarnate is up to. Keep your guard up. <laughs> Why, sports, don't leave me alone with her for more than a month, or she'll start getting ideas. Violent, depraved ideas. Oh, please, if I had one foot long noodle lips, I'd use them.
Hello, welcome back to the Start Your Own Freddy Fast and this Pizza Kit 1993 edition. Let's cut the ship, old sport. I know you're listening to this. Who on earth would buy a franchising kit from a company that killed dozens of innocent children? Aside from you. We are a family, old sport. You were lost, but you soon will be found. I'm going to come find you, old sport. I'm going to come find you. is enough to drive anyone to murder. All I can think about is how much fun we had together. The good old days. I know that you didn't choose to salvage me, sportsy. But, maybe I've learned how to forgive. Compared to that moldy bear that you've salvaged the month before. I know you still do. Come on, there's nothing to fear, old boy. Take my hand and do. place. You hated working at Freddy's. Let's cut this shit and stop pretending that any of this was in the reclaim what we had before. And I 
I'll admit that this place is fairly authentic. What? You're missing one final piece of the puzzle. The final audition colored piece. Oh sport, it will be so easy. It will be just like before. Who the fuck is Miss one lousy kid? We could get away with it any day of the week. Sportsy, I promise you, stick with me. I can make you a star. I can give you a mortal life. I can make good on all of Please don't throw me back out. You don't. Oh, well, let me tell you, you have no fucking clue what you've just done. So, you bitch me in that rotting pizza joint, and then once I find a way inside, you decide to fuck me out onto the curb. Sportsy, honey, do you really think I'm gonna give in? That I'll let this mark my fucking word, old sport. We are a family, and the family doesn't give up on family. A kid is gonna go missing here, old sport. And mark my fucking word, you are. I will come back, old sport. I always do. Goodbye, old fuck. Hello, I am the LC Inspector, on and on. You are the owner, correct? It is a pleasure to... Hold on. That face, I know it. My father, do you remember this? He said you were awful, and you made him explode. Well, then, let us begin the LC inspection. Yes, I've seen nothing but this room for the last 10 minutes. What was that? Elf violation. Bring me to the next room, please. Are you stalling for time? Is it a yes? I would like to see... These toilets don't look awfully clean. Then again, you should have seen the last Freddy's location that my father suffered. Some insane person blew up a urinal. Let's move on.
ओके इज्जत ऑल Bring me to the next room in the next 5 seconds. Or I shut you down on this spot. Five, four, three. Okay, the tour's over. Look, I'll be honest. It's amazing that the roof hasn't caved in yet. With the amount of rent, mold and asbestos above us, this place is dangerous. Every second we're here, our combined life expectancy falls by at least three minutes. I'm going to have to shut this place down, like right now. Excuse me. No, I'm not fighting you. I've had a hard day. I'll just leave. Goodbye, scary orange man. Oh, no, this place is terribly unsafe. I just don't want to be here anymore. Fine, I'm going. Jeez. Uh, 
してやったよ Sport. I've been watching reality me, and you made the right choice today. I'm glad you did the right thing, and now we can continue our work. Make sure to keep an eye out for any of Reality Dave's future shenanigans. Remember the phone face that worked at that Colorado Freddy's location that we also worked at in a l- Ah, right? Were well, you actually guilty, or am I remembering wrong? Oh, I see. Yeah, he's here as well. One layer down from us. Deeper into the flip side. Well, that's what we're asking you, Sportsy. I like him. He didn't give a shit. Didn't treat me like I was subhuman. As far as spices go, he was one of the better ones I've had. We're gonna see a phone face again.
to you, Sportsy. I'd have been down this far once before. Keep your wits about yet, only. Yar, 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 yar,
hair, hair. Like fuck, I'm gonna let off duty canyon trip as fuck as time. Let's fucking do this. up to that phone head.
We are here to smash your face in, you dumb phone head. Henry? What are you? Oh, oh God! Stephen. Henry! Are those... So it was you. Those five kids over in Utah. That was... What were you thinking? Now I have Step to... aside. Excuse me? Step aside. I'll be leaving now. What? No, like hell! You just murdered five of our customers during peak business hours. Like hell I'm letting you leave. I see you want to do this the hard way. Henry, what the fuck are you do- ah.
We want to help you. Jack, there's no saving people like me. I'm a coward, plain and simple. I threw everyone under the bus to save myself. And look what I have to show. You've spent so long pursuing me, wondering if I can be saved. You never once stopped to ask yourself if I even deserve to be saved. I deserve this. Jack, I deserve this. You know I deserve this. Employee, I just want to go home. Finish my shift. I think we all do it. I never wanted any of this. I just figured that somebody else would just fix everything. That things would just sort them that I'd get to see a happy... Jack. Jack. Dave. I'm so sorry. For all of this. Of course. Whatever it is, name it. <laughs> you really aren't going to let this go, are you? too tired to keep I do I like to have a good time and war, but that sounded malicious. You don't understand. I... I didn't realize the extent. Did Henry do this at every location? I think I've got some stuff to think about. Yeah, I know we can do it. Besides, three friends is the most I've ever had at once. As if a deranged sock puppet counts. Uh, uh. Leave it to us, sports. I'm sure that between the three of us, we can formulate some kind of game plan. Uh, 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 uh. 
Stephen, may I remind you that you'll have a phone for a head. Nothing in particular, I just felt like reminding you. Goodbye, Sportsy.
Sentimentality, a fixation on a brand that nobody even cares about anymore. It had you all over. I thought for sure that, if you were still around, I'd spawn you. And yet, there was never an old one. Now that I've seen your records, my god, it was so obvious. Of course you went inside, working in there. You were the ass mole standing outside, throwing gasoline over the building. You gathered all of the pieces in one place, just to burn it all down. It's no wonder you didn't salvage me this time. You think you can attempt, and then just kick me out on the kite when you fail to burn me in that fire, along with the rest of I'm slippery, old sport. I got out of that fade and I didn't buy it, and I came back. I always come back. Woodsy, failing to sack me in flames when you- This kid's gonna die because of your bad choices. You're gonna know what it feels like to ride, like I did. Oh, no, sport, stand any closer, and I'll cut this kid's throat. You know I'll do it. out of my element. I don't care if there's a million kids out there, or a billion. You've chosen poorly, sportsy, and this kid is gonna suffer great fucking circumstances. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, you. Yeah, you. This is between me and your in the suit. You. Uh, 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 uh. Stay any closer, and the kid will get it. I. I'm God. I have a message for you, Dave. It comes not only from me, 
but every child you've hurt inside any Freddy's restaurant. You're outnumbered. We aren't afraid of you, and we aren't going to let you hurt anyone else. You're outnumbered, Dave, and we aren't going to tolerate you any longer. Now get the fuck out of my restaurant before I tear you limb from limb. Oh, sport! You've returned to us! Hey, it's not my fault. I haven't had one of those in an eternity. I have cravings. Uh, uh, uh. And well, we know where to go now. One layer down, on the deepest layer of, there isn't just one strong soul, there's two. Like the guy. What? I'd rather free him than do nothing here alone for the rest of eternity. So, I'm up for some fuckery. I should warn you though, Sportsy. I don't know what level 4 even looks like. For all we know, it could be full of freaky clowns, or cacti, or can God. Clowns so pointy that they loudly pop their own balloon. What could be more horrifying than that? Nope, I'm gonna go with cactus clowns. No, I... I've been too afraid to, admittedly. No, it's worse than that. Sometimes, uh... Well, I've heard that if you get down far enough, well, it's possible to go too deep and end up stuck. Trapped on the bedrock layer. I don't know how deep this all goes. Uh, 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 uh
No man left behind. I'm on navigator. Good luck figuring out the way without me, puppet face. Let's go, old sport. It's time to free some thrown ass. Sorry, some more thrown ass. So, this is it, I guess. Later 4, it looks familiar. Lead the way, Sportsy. If you recognize this room, you might. 